I, I think always what pops to the top for me is just the sheer number of people huh. that have been trained and how there seems to still be a line of people wanting to be trained. Yeah, it's the, interest, yeah. the interest. The interest is interest, a, yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, I never saw that coming. It's like it went viral in a way that you couldn't have imagined, right? And it was not expected nor even thought possible. And also, what 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 has been the, it's very surprising to me at some level is the how it's been embraced by so many different cultures and so yes. many different contexts. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and you know, uh, I was I think we all were a bit worried about how 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 can this get. Uh, communicated to you know to other countries, other cultures, uh, within countries, uh, 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 d different people, uh, dif uh, you know, uh, there, Bowlby was onto something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! As dude, it turns out, this is the, it, it, this is about biology, and it transcends so much. And everywhere we we've been, people point at it and they say, "Well, I understand that." Yeah. Well, there's Bert, something intuitive about it. Bert was just presenting in in Hong Kong, and tell what, what that person said to you about the human condition. I was asking at the end of the workshop and uh, uh, for feedback or what it was like, and one person just said, uh, uh, "What you've captured is this is the human condition that you're you're giving words and video to the nature of humanness." And uh, and yes, it's true here in China, uh, and that there's a sense that this is true everywhere we go, that there's something about it that is just innately human. Yeah. Yeah, and in theory, I I believe that early on, but it was in Uganda that I think I got confident about mm. it. That I was in this little tiny village in uh, called Nintenjuru, and I was presenting to the elders of this village and the the nurses and just you know local people and my daughter had been living there for almost two years and she said you have to understand in uganda people are very close with their feelings and their emotions they're not going to be very emotive and and so just you know, have to just be aware of that and there was no electricity, so all this was drawn out on, on big flip charts. And I'm doing this process, and I thought, I don't know how to do this in a non-emotional way. So I just kind of went for it and presented it. And they told the dearest stories with tears in their eyes. Mm -hmm. And I looked up to the back of the room, and my daughter was just shocked. She'd wow. been there two years and only heard one person cry, and those were tears of joy, wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, and, and I just thought, this is amazing. This is different culture in so many ways, at so many levels, and yet it's touching people in, in a very genuine way. And so that just kind of sealed the deal for me about this Bowlby really was onto something that, that's human, not Western culture. Mm -hmm.